Good morning and Tashi Dalek to everyone. Hope you are having an amazing day. This is Jamyang and welcome back to my channel. And this time I'm going to visit the most famous and holiest hermitage all over in Tibet, which is 150 kilometers south of Lhasa, nearby Samye Monastery called Chimpu Hermitage. And you know, up there, there are many monks and nuns meditating for whole their lifetime. And usually Tibetan pilgrims go there and offer them food. So today with this awesome chance, I would also like to offer them some food. By the way, if I got a chance, I would like to show you their lifestyle and their daily meditation. So I hope you will enjoy this video and make sure to give thumbs up if you like this video. And first, I'm going to fill my car and then I'm going to market to buy some food for them. Ah, there is the gas station. Before I leave Plaza, first I have to give a good breakfast to my car. Uh uh, 9.5 for one liter. After you fill the gas, you'll get a free ticket for washing car. Oh, yeah, to. I'm here at the market. These are all Tibetan bread. The red dot is with sugar and this is without sugar. And I finally decided to buy the Tibetan bread because I heard the monks and the nuns they love to eat the bread. And it's also convenient for me to carry it. And now she's packing the bread. Oh, yeah, so. 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 Oh, yeah, and I will try my best to show you what I see on the way. Now I'm driving along the Brahmaputra River and that river is the longest and most important river in all over Tibet because most of the farmer, Tibetan farmers are living on this river and this river comes from West Himalaya and through Eastern Himalaya it goes into Indian Ocean through India so that's why they call this river as a Brahmaputra but in Tibetan we call it Yalung Tsangpo and now I'm going to show you this beautiful view of the Brahmaputra Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the view of this Brahmaputra and now I'm very close to Samye Monastery, Samye Monastery. Samye Monastery is the first monastery that was founded in 8th century by a great master called Patma Sambhava. And most of the Tibetan Buddhist textbook has been translated from Sanskrit into Tibetan in this monastery. So this is a really really important monastery and I'll try to show you more about Samir Monastery next time, okay? And now I'm very close to 
Chimpu Hermitage. <laughs> All right, now I arrived here at Chimpu Hermitage. And first, I'm gonna have a lunch and then I'm gonna do a quick visit to this nunnery. So that's the monastery restaurant and that's the Chimpu nunnery. Ah, that's a monastery shop. Oh, <laughs> 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 I just bought a coke and water and now it's time for a lunch. Ah, that's the restaurant. No one is here. Kaizo Dugal. Kaizo Kurdonla. Ah, Changam. Oh, yeah, so that's Luru. So that's the kitchen. It's a very, very clean kitchen. So this is what I'm gonna eat. <laughs> that looks so delicious. Kazerel. Mm. That was a really, really delicious lunch. And now I'm just going to do a quick visit to this nunnery. Monastery is beautiful, and now I have to start my trekking. Ah, that's a small Butterland Chapel. <laughs> All right, let's begin the trekking. I don't know if you can see it clear from here or not, but I have to go all the way up there. <sighs> to go up there and coming down, I will need three hours. So. It was going to be a long trekking. And this place is also well known as a green park for the meditator. The altitude is about 4,300 meter. Wow. You see, everything here is eatable, you know, it's all herbal. And you see this yellow flower here, it's I don't know the name, but it's really, really good for your stomach. And it tastes really sweet. And a little bit of sour. I actually don't need to have a lunch there. See? It's a beautiful and really, really delicious. And this thing here, this flower, it's really good for your throat.
Seven. Lots and lots of herbals and so many different sounds of the bird. So quiet and peaceful. Super beautiful. This cow is following me from the parking place. I think I have to be quiet here because it's a meditation place. I don't know if they are meditating or not. Chulu! Chula! <laughs> you can see the nun she was really happy and she wanted to say thank you but you know when you are practicing meditation they have to promise to stay in silence so that's why they are not allowed to talk with other people so this is kind of meditation rules uh, but i'm really really happy that i can share the food with them. His door is locked and I don't want to disturb him so but I would like to give him the bread. At Chimpu Hermitage they are following the Nyingmapa sect which is a red hat sect in Tibetan Buddhism. Most of the meditator they are meditating here for their lifetime but some of the meditator here they also practice meditating for three years, three months, and three days. Uh oh. Yo. Bye bye. I'm not sure what you're doing. 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 She just a kid named this. She can't have a good way to see you. Oh, Miss. Oh, Miss. Oh, Miss. Oh, Miss. Oh, Miss. Oh, See that man? He's just carrying a sack of rice for a donation. I give him thumbs up. Yeah. I let you uh <laughs> some of the meditator are spending their life in this kind of house. Hello. 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 Where's your mama? Where's your mama? So now I'm going to show you the meditation caves. That's how it looks like.
Look at the view. No. She wants me to translate it. And on the edge it says, please leave this letter on the sky burial. So that's what it says. I don't know what it means. She says that they used to have a sky burial here, but they don't do it anymore. All right now, I'm almost to the top. ハンズね。ちれ。ちれ。ちれ。ちれ。ちれ。ちれ。ちれ。ちれ。ちれ。ちれ。ちれ。ちれ。ちれ。ちれ。ちれ。ちれ。ちれ。ちれ。ちれ
and very peaceful. I really, really enjoyed it. This is Jamyang. Welcome to Tibet. We are the one that can show you the original Tibet.